my china and as you can clearly see from the title this is going to be my sephora vib rouge haul i want to show you guys some things that i picked up from the sale so let's get started so of course if you follow me on instagram which you should be all right, I showed you guys like a preview of some of the things that I picked up from the sale. Now, I just pretty much try to like replenish some of my favorite items. So you will see some things that I already own in my collection that I'm really, really low on. And then I did pick up some newer things that I wanted to try out. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys, and I'm just going to pull from this bag, okay? Because I did go inside of the store as well as I ordered from um, Sephora.com. Okay, so I think I'm just going to pull from the bag first and we'll work our way to the box. So, all right, y'all. So the first thing that I picked up from Sephora is this mascara by Benefit. It's the Roller Lash. And I actually told myself that I wasn't going to buy this mascara. But y'all, I had to. Okay, because I ran out of my old one and... I really love to use this Roller Lash Mascara with the CoverGirl Super Sizer. Like, these two mascaras will make your lashes look amazing, okay? So, it just wasn't right, okay? Just using this by itself. So, I had to get this again, and plus, I got 20% off. So, yeah, this is the first thing that I picked up. It's this Roller Lash Mascara, and it's one of my favorites for sure. So, yeah, I'm really, really glad I got that. All right, so next I picked up two powders by Makeup Forever. I picked up my um, Duo Matte, and y'all know that I love the Duo Matte powder. And I also picked up the Pro Finish, okay? So, the Duo Matte I have in 218, and the Pro Finish I have in 175. So, I'll show you guys the Pro Finish first. So, here's the packaging to the Pro Finish okay and in the inside you get a mirror and I don't want to blind you guys with the mirror but you get a mirror and your powder and then you get a powder puff right there now with the pro finish powder I don't love this as much as I love the dual matte however it is a wonderful powder and I was actually going through my powders to see which ones I needed to replenish and this pro finish was one okay so this is my old one okay so as you guys can see, like it is almost done. So I had to pick up a new one. So I got my Pro Finish powder and then the Dual Matte, okay? And y'all already know that this is Bay. I absolutely love this powder, like seriously. I love it so much. So once again, you get a mirror and then you get your powder. And then once again, you get a powder puff, okay? And y'all already know, like this powder is Bay. I love it so much. This is the old one. So yeah, like these powders were definitely on the top of my list. And I just can't go without the dual matte because it is everything and then some. So I really do recommend these powders to you guys. Like put them on your list and go get them. You will not be disappointed, okay? So I got those two powders. So the next item that I purchased is a foundation. And I'm smiling because y'all, this is my favorite foundation ever okay i love this foundation so much and i only wear this one when i'm going out and the old one that i had i had for two years y'all and i'm i finally finished it after two years so it lasts for a very long time so this was another item that was on the top like the very top of my list i had to have it y'all this is the Lancome Tint Edor Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. It goes on really, really nicely. It's going to give you like a medium to full coverage and it photographs like a dream. Like it will leave your face looking so beat and so flawless. It's not even funny. So I had to put this back into my collection. Now we'll tell you this foundation is on the expensive side. However, like it's so worth it i'm telling you guys it is so worth it and it lasts for a long time like i had it for two years so you can't beat that with a stick like not at all in my opinion so of course it comes with a pump and 
it's just a beautiful foundation i have it in the shade 500 suede warm and i will come back on and do a tutorial for you guys so you can see what it looks like on my skin all right y'all so next i picked up a perfume after i told myself i wasn't going to purchase any more perfumes because well not right now anyway because i got two perfumes for my birthday and i was pretty much satisfied until i realized that i was almost out of this perfume right here and i actually ordered this on monday okay the last day of the sale because i was just like going back and forth like i don't want to be out of this perfume in my collection because this one right here i wore like every single day this summer like every day so i knew i was getting low on it I just didn't want to spend the money for any more perfumes but I just went on and got it because it was 20% off and then my husband said well you're going to regret it if you don't get it and he was right so I just went on and got it so this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana white and y'all I love this perfume so much like it just smells so good and it's perfect for work it's perfect for every day it just smells so light and so clean and I just, I love it. Okay, I would have been just like kicking myself if I didn't pick this up with that 20% off. So I just said, what the heck? I went on and got it and I'm happy that I did. I'm telling you guys, if you do not own this Primal Water, go and get it. It is amazing. Like, I love it so much. Like in my old bottle, I have about this much left. Like I had to get a new one because... I literally use this every single day okay I use it before I apply my foundation sometimes and then I definitely use it after I finish my entire face like I love this stuff so much it is so worth it in my opinion okay it just sets your face beautifully if you don't want to pick up like the full size you can always get the deluxe size for sixteen dollars but i just went on and got the full bottle because i use it like every single day okay so next i picked up a sephora luster matte longwear lip color and here is the box and i have it in the shade mulberry and i think i own this already i'm gonna have to check and see I think I do but I, I don't know if I do then that's okay because it's really really pretty but here's what it looks like as you guys can see it's just like a beautiful pinky magenta color it is so so pretty and let me swatch it for you guys so here is what the packaging looks like so there it is swatch and it's called mulberry and it's really really pretty like i really love these luster matte lip creams by sephora they are so nice and so inexpensive and look how pigmented that is you guys just absolutely beautiful so even if i do own this in my collection which i don't i need to check and see I don't care because like this color is beautiful and I know that I will use this up. Alright, so I got that. Okay, y'all. So next I picked up a concealer by Sephora. And this is called the Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. And it looks like this. And I have it in the shade Dolce Delice. And I need to open it so I can swatch it. Hold on, y'all. Alright, y'all. So here is the concealer. And it comes with a doe foot applicator and let me swatch it for you guys oh that's so pretty all right so there it is swatched if you guys can see that hopefully y'all can see that swatch okay but i actually picked this up to use as an under eye highlighter and yeah i saw some really really great reviews on this concealer so hopefully i like it so i got that and it seems to be really really nice so yeah it dries down nicely it blends out really nice as well so yeah hopefully that works out for me so i got that okay so next i picked up a foundation by sephora and i already have this foundation in my collection however i am getting really really low on it so i decided to pick up another one and 
I really do love this foundation because it's really nice and light and it's so great for every day. It reminds me of a beauty bomb and I just love it. It goes on really nicely and I get so many compliments whenever I wear it and plus I love to use this to mix in with other foundations. So I decided to repurchase it because it's just really inexpensive. So yeah. Alright so here's what it looks like and this is called the Sephora Tint Infusion Foundation and I have it in the shade 45 cafe latte all right and there it is and it comes with a dropper as you guys can see there and i really 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 do love this foundation like a lot of people don't talk about it but i love it enough to you know add it back into my collection so here it is swatched and it's just so nice and light there it is right there so nice and light and it blends out nicely if you want to try something that's a little bit um, above drugstore, then check this foundation out, okay? Because it's not expensive at all. It won't break the bank. And when you run out, you'll be able to afford another one because it's not really um, expensive, okay? So I got that. And I will come back on and do like a face of the day feature in this foundation so you guys can see what it looks like on, okay? Alright y'all, so next I picked up a lipstick by, a liquid lipstick by Kat Von D. And this is in the shade Vampira. And I actually own this shade, but um, I did my mom's makeup last week. And I put this on her and she just really loved it so much. So I went on and gave it to her and I was like, what the heck, I'll just pick up a new one during the sale. So here's what it looks like. And as you guys can see, it's just like a gorgeous wine color. Really, really pretty. Let me swatch it for y'all. Let's see and there is vampire swatched and let me tell y'all like i really don't use this shade a lot okay but i just couldn't bear having it out of my collection so that's why i got it so that's so crazy but yeah it's really really pretty and i do plan on using it more especially in the um winter months okay because it's just so so pretty so i picked up vampire all right, and I also picked up a lipstick by Kat Von D. All right, so when I went into Sephora, I was actually looking for the um, Lolita duos, the little um, deluxe size duos that they just came out with, but they didn't have it. And they didn't have the full size of the liquid lipstick in Lolita. So I was like, oh, they, never, they never have it. Like, what's going on? Come on now. But um, the girl was like, well, won't you try the Lolita lipstick? And I was like, I don't want the lipstick. I want the liquid lipstick. But she was like, the lipstick is pretty as well. So I was like, well, let's try it on and see how I like it. So she tried it on me and y'all, it just looks so beautiful on my lips. And I love the way it felt. And I was just like, okay, give me the lipstick. And this was the last one. So I am glad I got it. So let me show you guys. So you all know what the packaging looks like. And here is the Lolita lipstick. All right. And it is really, really pretty. It's gorgeous. And it looks so nice with my skin tone. However, I still do want the liquid lipstick. Okay. But this will do until I get it. All right. So let me go ahead and swatch this for you. All right. So here it is swatched. And it is really, really pretty. And I'm satisfied. So yeah i will pick up the liquid lipstick eventually but yeah i'm gonna settle for this for now okay so the next product that i picked up is by urban decay and i don't know if you guys can see the box there it is but this is the urban decay naked skin illuminating beauty balm okay and it has an spf of 20 and it is oil free and it's um optical blurring and it's supposed to firm and improve um your skin over time okay so the reason why i picked up this beauty balm is because one of my girlfriends at work actually raved about this beauty balm and she actually wore it with her paddle on top her urban decay paddle on top and her skin looked so freaking flawless like her skin just looked so beautiful you guys like i couldn't stop staring at her like she just looks so gorgeous and she made me go and buy this okay all right y'all so here is what the packaging looks like 
and it comes in a little squeeze tube as you guys can see there and I'm going to squeeze some out on my hand so as you can see it has like a beigey kind of tint to it but when you blend it out on your skin it's translucent like let me blend it out on my skin and it feels really really nice on the skin really really nice all right so there it is blended out on my skin so as you can see it blends right into the skin so I don't know if you guys can tell but it gives you like a really nice luminous look like can you guys see that I don't know if you can but it gives my skin like a really nice luminous look and it feels really really nice and smooth so she put this all over her face of course as a primer and then she put her powder on top and like her skin looked so healthy and so flawless like it was so pretty pretty enough for me to go out and get this okay so i'm going to come back on and do a get ready with me video featuring this beauty balm slash primer and i'm going to use this powder all right so next i picked up another product by urban decay and this is the urban decay naked illuminated shimmering powder for face and body and this shimmering powder is actually um, new to the collection. Like they do have two more. They have one that's called Aurora. And I cannot think of the other one. But they already have two. And they added this one on. Okay. So this one is called Lit. So when I saw this y'all. I was like oh my god. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. And I swatched it. And I had to pick it up. Because it just reminded me so much of like Christmas and the holidays. And I'm going to be wearing this one on the holidays. Because it's just so pretty. Okay. So once again here's what the box looks like. All right, you guys see that and here is the packaging now it is really bulky as you guys can see however it's still pretty all right so here's the packaging and on the front it says urban decay naked illuminated all right you see that and when you flip it open you have your mirror and then you have your highlighter which is absolutely beautiful hopefully you guys can see that okay and then when you flip it over once more you get a brush all right there's your brush and y'all this highlighter is so beautiful it is so 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 pretty i cannot wait to wear it this christmas and thanksgiving i cannot wait to wear it this summer all over my body when i put my little dresses on and my bathing suit like it is just so pretty okay so as you can see it is like a golden shade okay and it has like these really beautiful gold sparkles in it so it has shimmers in it okay and the shimmers may not be for everyone but it's definitely for me okay and i will tell you like the shimmers aren't like chunky at all they are finely milled absolutely gorgeous it just looks so so pretty oh i love it so much y'all like i have a thing for golden highlighters i really really do so i'm going to put a little on although i do have on a highlighter already but i don't care all right so here's the brush and it comes with a really nice little fan brush i like the brush and let's put some on like this is so pretty all right look at that y'all oh that is so pretty and the brush is really really soft and I love the way it's shaped because it gets right up in there. You see how pretty that is? Do y'all see that? Like, never mind my breakout. Alright. It's the time of the month and Mother Nature is killing my skin. But do you guys see how pretty that is? Like, that is so pretty. I had to have this highlighter, y'all. I just could not pass it up. Like, I just couldn't pass it up. It is so pretty. Like, do y'all see that highlighter? It is so pretty. Never mind my breakout right there, but yeah. The highlighter is gorgeous, you guys. So, so pretty. So the next time you go into Sephora, swatch this and let me know what you think about it because I think it is absolutely 
beautiful like I had to have it okay so yeah got that and it is magnetized which y'all know I love that love that all right y'all so next I picked up the Anastasia self-made palette here's what it looks like and I just love these palettes so much like this was definitely on the top of my list I had to have it and I'm just so excited about this palette because it is so, so, so beautiful, you guys. All right, so here's what the palette looks like, which you guys probably already know. Now, the self-made palette is a little higher than, like, the other palettes because you do get more shades, okay, in the self-made palette. I think you get, like, 14 in here. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, you get 14 shades in the self-made palette. And then, like, with the Amrezi palette, for instance, you only get, like, 10 shades. So, I think it was well worth the money. And you just can't go wrong with these palettes by Anastasia. They are just absolutely beautiful, highly pigmented. I just love her eyeshadows, okay? You get a mirror. All right. There's your mirror right there. And here's your 14 beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows. And then, of course, you get your dual and dip brush, okay? So, I will come back on and do a review of this palette as well as I want to definitely do a makeup look. Because these colors are just so beautiful. Oh, my God. Especially this lime green shade right there. Oh, and that purple. So, yeah, don't think about getting this palette, okay? Just go and get it because it's so pretty. And if you don't get it, you might regret it, okay? So, yeah, I'm so glad I got that. All right, y'all, so I am winding on down. Um, Next, I picked up two single eyeshadows by Kat Von D. All right, and here's what they look like. And these are called the metal crush bow pigment metallic finish eyeshadows okay and i picked up two of them the first one that i have is called thunderstruck all right and then the second one that i have is called paranoid all right and that's paranoid and y'all these shadows are amazing and i i have to go back and get more like they are so pigmented so creamy just oh they are life okay especially thunder struck like this is going to make for a gorgeous highlighter okay so here's what the box looks like right there okay so here is the packaging all right and let me open it up for you guys here is the eyeshadow. Now, I will tell you, these eyeshadows are very expensive. They're like $20. However, you do get, like, right much product, okay? So, yeah, I can appreciate that. Like, you get 2.8 grams of product. All right, so here is Thunderstruck, okay? And it looks like an off-white eyeshadow. So, it looks like blah, okay, in the pan, however... When you swatch this eyeshadow, it is freaking life, okay? Like I mentioned earlier, it is just nice and silky and buttery. And there it is swatched on my fingertip. But it's just so smooth and so silky. But let me swatch this on my hand so you guys can see this transform. So here it is swatched on my hand and I'm going to rub it in for you guys. Do you see that? Like it turns into this beautiful champagne type of rosy gold dual chrome type of beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow. Like it is just so pretty. Like oh my goodness you guys, this is going to look so gorgeous as a highlighter on your cheekbone so pretty that I just want to put some on my cheekbones now and I know I have the Urban Decay on but I mean this Thunderstruck is just so pretty like look at that you guys oh that is so 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 pretty let's see let's put a little on and this brush right here came out of my Sonia Koshik highlighter so let's see 
All right, so I'm going to put a little on top of the Urban Decay. Oh my goodness, do y'all see this? Oh, that is so pretty. I do need to blend it out. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is so beautiful, you guys. Like, you have to go and get this eyeshadow. You have to. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so freaking pretty. This video is going to be so long. I'm sorry. But, oh my goodness, y'all. This is... I'm telling you, if you don't pick up any of the other eyeshadows, please go get this one. Please go get it. This Thunderstruck, look at that. Okay, so the eyeshadow in Paranoid. This is so beautiful. Like, if you see people swatch this on YouTube, like the videos, does this color no justice at all. It is so freaking beautiful i cannot even begin to tell you guys how pretty this shade is all right so once again here is the packaging all right and it's called paranoid which i mentioned that earlier and here is paranoid right there like oh my god it is so beautiful you guys it's just like this really beautiful shade of blue like it is so pretty you guys let me swatch it for you let's see and once again it's really nice and soft and smooth and buttery and here it is swatched okay it's more like a royal turquoise blue and I see some purple shimmers in it as well it's just so pretty and let's see I'm gonna swatch it right here so do you guys see that like oh my god and this is one swipe like that is just so beautiful look how pretty that is you guys so 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 pretty and i cannot wait to wear this on my lower lash line like i just love blue shadow on my lower lash line this is so gorgeous i just i cannot even deal with how pretty these eyeshadows are and i just won't all of them I'm not gonna even lie I want them all that is just so pretty okay so this shade is called paranoid and it is just so gorgeous like look oh so pretty all right guys so next I'm just gonna run through um, some items that I picked up with my points and some samples that they sent me as well as this lipstick that I got let me wipe the box off here is the box right here I did renew my um, VIB Rouge status for 2016 and they actually gave us this year a lipstick by Marc Jacobs and there it is right there really little cute little lipstick all right so here's the bullet isn't that cute really really pretty and this lipstick is called So Rouge all right and here is what So Rouge looks like it's sort of like a orangey red shade really really pretty so this is my kind of shade right here. I can't wait to wear this. And let me give you guys a swatch. Man, that is so pretty. And there it is, swatched I right up there. With my points, I did spend 500 points. Um, these were all 100 points apiece. I picked up the Philosophy Ultimate Miracle Worker Night. And it's just a serum. All right, can't wait to try that. Then I picked up the Clinique Turnaround Daytime moisturizer looks like that and we're going to test that out and see what that's like then i picked up another one of the clinique moisture surge um moisturizers that looks like this and i love this okay i need to go ahead and get the full size because this is really really nice and yeah i was glad to see that they had this for 100 points so i went on and got another one of those the oil show maximizer and this is just a lash plumping serum and then i picked up the makeup forever hd powder isn't that cute 
that is just so cute all right i can't wait to use this all right y'all so that's it that is all that i picked up from the vib rude sale so i thank you guys so much for watching i love you all to pieces and everything that i have on will be down below and yeah that's it so i love you guys and i will talk to you all later bye